What is up guys, Express Design here, and I'm making another tutorial. This time not on a banner, not on a Twitter header, something totally different, a thumbnail. I've seen a lot of my fans are Fortnite fans, and I'm also, I will play, <laughs> I also play Fortnite. Gaming channel link in the description, please check it out. <laughs> another plug, cheeky plug. Uh, so I, I'll show you how I make my thumbnail. Uh, I do it with a free program, Source Filmmaker. You can download that on Steam for free, and you just search up in the Community Workshop tab. Search for Source Filmmaker and then search for Fortnite. And then choose a skin that you like. Uh, I'm gonna take a, make a thumbnail for my latest video. And mostly I do from the most recent one. Because then they're the most recent skins that come out in the item shop. And I'll probably take... Did I have used this one yet? I'll probably take this one, the jewel skin. But you also need the green screen in the background. You search for uh, a green panel, so... And you turn on this green panel over here. It's just a green panel that you can put in uh, later in the Source Filmmaker. It's uh, the black void. I think it's uh, a... Um... Let me pause the video for a second. Um, the pop-up windows in Source Filmmaker didn't show. I don't know why, but my recording software didn't put them on. So I'm telling you, there should be a pop-up window there. And I'm just telling you how to do it, but you just can't see it. Uh, sorry for that. This is a little disclaimer. Uh, just watch the rest of the tutorial. It's a TF uh, movies, so it just uh, you don't have to download that. That's already in the um, Source Filmmaker. Uh, you just do type in black. You have a black void. Okay. Okay. Once the map black map has loaded in. Uh, you go in the left um, animation sec sector, you right click and you go to new model and you type in uh, green, type in green panels. And normally uh, in the workshop mods, you will find your green panels that you have downloaded and just open one of them. Okay, uh, next you also right click and search um, there again for your Fortnite skin, so type Fortnite. And now you just search for the right skin. I have a uh, quite a few skins. This is the skin that I wanted. Okay. Now also what you want is a new light. And now you go back to your green panel. Click this little icon. And then go uh, click on the turn um, icon as well. And you turn the green panel all the way. So you can see it in the background. Then you go to your Fortnite skin. Zoom out a bit. There you go. When you zoomed out, you want to put this uh, a bit back. So um, put that all the way back. To zoom in, you hold left click and zoom. And to turn, you just cl uh, click in the window and you can just turn with your mouse. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to put that more in the middle. Okay, once you have your character and your light, I'm going to put my light sensitivity a bit lower. I think it's too bright in their face. Just go here and just put the sensitivity a bit lower there you go i think that's quite nice go to your fortnite skin uh, click on the little plus icon and now you can go to your body arms finger selects and unknown unknown is is uh, mostly um, the face if you want to change the face and i'm going to do that the face just zoom in the face i want to open her mouth and s squeeze her eyes a bit uh, a shocked face um so you click on the little icon again the, the other one and you search for this jaw, open the jaw like that. If you turn this, um, if you turn a bit, you just you have to click a lot to find the right um, the right things. And then you can um, I change the face a bit. I open her mouth, and now you can also go to the legs and the arms. I'm gonna turn her uh, a bit around like that. And yeah, I'm gonna change the pelvis back. Go to her arms and you can change the position of her arms in uh, every direction that you want. You just click on the little thing and then go ahead and you can go like this. Turn her around. It's yeah, it's you can even yeah, you can you can just look what it what it goes well with and search maybe a um, a preview on how you want it to look and then just try to get as try to replicate it as best as you can. And mostly I just focus on the face. 
I'm gonna make sure her arm rests on the on the pickaxe. So to do that, I have to put the pickaxe a bit down. A bit more right there. Maybe also a bit more down. Make sure uh, it rests on the thing. Also gonna make sure uh, the right arm is not like that. And yeah, I'm gonna do a time lapse and I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. So there you go, you have my uh, character and she is uh, resting on her pickaxe and if you, I'm gonna zoom out a bit and render it like that. So how you wanna render it is like, um, go to export and go to poster and then uh, I'm gonna continue without saving, but you probably should save, then you click on where you wanna save it, I'm just gonna save it in pictures and I'm gonna call it, call it um, Fortnite Thump. I'm gonna save that and just uh, image size uh, 1080 size and I'm gonna export that poster and just uh, wait while it's done and just um, export that poster it's gonna take a while okay this time we're back in Photoshop you have a TGA file but you can easily just um, put that in Photoshop but Photoshop doesn't have a problem with that so you have your file I'm gonna rasterize that file real quick right clicking and rasterize the file and to remove the green you can use your magic wand tool or you can go with um, select select a uh, subject and just go sure you're on that or uh, select a color range and just click on the color and it goes automatically selects your character and it automatically delete the background but you can see that there has some little green parts still around it so what you do is select your character again go to filter now go to select modify smooth and eight pixels or something and if you can see it normally it uh, removes some um, green parts uh, if you're not happy with that yet do the same and you can also uh, just select them by your magic tool as well and just select the parts but you, you're not gonna really see that if you want to do it um, you're not gonna really see that uh, for my tutorial but you can just smooth it out until you're happy with the result okay next thing you want to know uh, find is a, a nice google image of your of a fortnite background uh, uh fortnite backgrounds and just type in fortnite map wallpaper and you're gonna find yourself a nice wallpaper um, um if you want the new season you type in the season of wh what it is so season 13 now uh, I'm gonna take this one. I'm just only gonna use the left side of it. I'm gonna just copy the image. I don't need to save it You don't really have to but you can there you go. You put it in. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger And put it up like that There you go. Now you have your background. The next thing I want to do is make my character a bit bigger I think it needs to fill more in. There you go I'm just gonna put my character in front of that board. I'm just gonna put a rectangle in the right hook uh, right in the right corner i'm gonna fill that in with, just with white just fill that in with white like that and you just want to copy that make it a bit smaller turn that a bit around and you're gonna just put it next next to it now we're gonna do the same thing in the left corner make it a bit longer and a bit smaller smaller and you're gonna fill that in with um white again like that copy that as well and make it a bit smaller and I'll then turn it a bit around and then there you go with that uh, just just select everything Control e them so they're all together Control j them so they're copied and then turn them around so I'm gonna make them a bit bigger there you go and I'm gonna put them on uh, wait I'm just gonna merge them first together all of them and I'm gonna put them on soft light there you go and I'm gonna copy them again put them on normal double click them and give them uh, put the put the fill opacity all the way down and give them a stroke a just a white stroke there you go and I'm gonna make them a lot bigger and there you go you have a little those little effects that I do or have on most of my thumbnails I'm gonna put it behind the character and the other one I'm gonna put in front of the character there you go what I also have I um, 
uh, blacking the sides of my thumbnail so the focus is on the middle of the thumbnail just black that out there you go I'm going to put that opacity on 20 maybe 10 15 I'll we'll put that on 15 and on the top I have uh, mostly white um, light coming on at the top all the way like that I'm gonna also put the opacity on 20 there you go what I do now is just uh, put the brightness and contrast uh, all the way up there you go I'm gonna make my character a bit bigger I think that's I think that's gonna help also mostly I put a uh, Fortnite victory royale um, PNG uh, in the background just to really uh, get that out there so search that up save that in your images and paste that in there there you go and put that on the background make it a lot bigger maybe yeah make it a bit bigger so you can see is that victory royale come on maybe put her more on the side there you go put that victory a bit bigger okay i'm gonna select everything ctrl j it and merged it and ctrl j it again and go to filter uh, camera raw filter and here is where the magic happens to get the perfect thumbnail oh yeah right i need to cut that out so i'm gonna select my thumbnail and select layer via cut you remove the layer that you just copied and just copy that again so you don't have anything outside the, um, outside the thumbnail there you go i have the thumbnail here and what you do is just find the perfect spot just put the exposure a bit higher put the contrast um also higher bit the highlights a bit higher the shadows you can put a bit down and the whites also and just find the perfect um, spot put the clarity a bit bit higher not too much um, go to sharpening and noise reduction and put the noise reduction a bit high a lot higher uh, okay the sharpening don't touch that and also I want to pop out the blues in the background because it's a bit about water and everything also the yellow of the victory royale and the orange skin of the character also the purple uh, tattoos I want to pop that more out just pop them out in saturation you can also put the luminosity I'll also put, put that like, right there her face don't no, don't touch your face too much I'm gonna touch the blues more go to hue okay there you go you click OK in my opinion that's way better than before camera roll field okay we have the camera raw filter on it uh, you want to do the same thing again and go to camera raw filter again so merge everything copy copy the layer again and go to the presets uh, vivid is mostly a nice one but it seems like it doesn't need to so bright is also a nice one the color so I'm what I'm gonna do is gonna go with the vivid and put the opacity a bit a bit down there you go and what I also like to do is make a new layer and Go select the yellow of the of the thing and just take a brush, put the hardness on zero and just brush. That's a bit too big. And then just click it on the thumbnail, or on the number one, um, like that. I'm gonna put there somewhere else. Then what I like to do is put another, take another color, make another layer, and then also put some dots there. Put the layer on screen and also put the other one also on screen. And put the opacity a bit down, maybe around 50, 50, 50. And there you go, you have your thumbnail. Um, I think that's quite a simple thumbnail, it doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, in my opinion, it looks great. If you, you need to zoom out a bit in the thumbnails, see how much it really is, how it looks from afar. And not from a close, because the thumbnails, people look mostly on the little screen and on just on their phones um, yeah this is how you, how I make my thumbnails uh, for Fortnite thumbnails and you can do this with every uh, game you want there's a lot of um, a lot of characters and games for Source Filmmaker so you can always look on there if they have something and just download that and do the same thing which you do with another character so yeah thank you guys for watching leave a like tomorrow if you want and as always see you guys in the next one peace